Well, California's drought certainly making life tough for Marin County cattle ranchers and farmers. KPI X5's John Ramos traveled to cattle country to take a look at some of the drastic measures they're now having to take. For most of us, the fears over this drought center on whether our lawns are going to turn brown. But those who grow our food say you better buckle up because the ride is about to get a lot rougher. It's a little hard for Mike Jamona to believe as he rumbles across his West Marin cattle ranch. The grass should be waist high at this time of year. We're seeing conditions now like we would see in July and August. So what's August, September going to bring us? Um, we don't know. It's scary. But the biggest problem now isn't the grass, it's getting enough water up to the cattle so they don't die of thirst. Natural springs that would normally refill the water troughs have slowed to a trickle or dried up completely. Some ranchers are already trucking in water, bringing back memories of the drought of 1976. Uh, the older ranchers that are around here said this is far worse than what they saw in the 70s. This is worse than the 76 drought? Far worse is what they're saying. But Mike is luckier than most. He has this small reservoir on the west side of his property and has run about five miles of pipeline to be able to refill the troughs on the east side. Without that, the land would be useless as pasture land. He got help from the Marin Agricultural Land Trust, or MALT, which is offering farmers grants of up to $15,000 to try to survive the drought. The urgency is high and it's um, people need water yesterday. So the faster that we can move with our resources and our, our money and our technical assistance, the better it is for these for the landowners out here. Mike says he and other ranchers will sell off some of their herd for slaughter, which will temporarily flood the market and drive prices down. But then the price of beef will skyrocket 20 to 50 percent. He's not sure if people are ready for hamburger at nine dollars per pound. What happens if this isn't just this year? What happens if this is the new normal? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, you probably won't see a lot of agriculture surviving this, is my guess. Malt's donated funds are limited. They say government funding could help some farmers and ranchers, but if next year is also dry, it may not even matter. In Marin County, John Ramos, KPIX 5.